Hey dudes, what's up? All right, today's gonna be a very weird video. It is, I don't even know what time it is, 11 o'clock at night or something like that. And we've not filmed a single thing today. Um, It was just kind of a weird day. Kurt had kind of, I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it. it just a weird day. We were both just feeling a little bit off and I don't know what the deal was, but we decided we were not gonna vlog today. We just said we've done it for almost 800 days in a row. We have not missed a day. And we feel like lately we've just kind of have been in a rut where we have been filming just to be filming and putting out vlogs just to put out vlogs. We haven't had any thought or creativity behind any of our content. We haven't been out and active and doing super fun things and we just felt like we were being boring and we were there was no point to what we were doing and we talked about it and we're just like why are we forcing ourselves to put up a vlog just to put up a vlog i don't think that i mean that's not what we got into this for we didn't get into this process to post content every single day, no matter what. You know, we were doing this for a reason and I think we kind of have lost that a little bit along the way. And so we decided we weren't gonna put up a vlog. We were gonna skip a day and we just weren't gonna worry about it. And we went to bed and we've been laying in bed for about an hour and neither of us can sleep. And Kurt doesn't even know that I'm doing this. So we'll see what he says. This might not ever even get posted. I don't know. But he just kept saying, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm going to regret this. I don't. I don't know what I want to do. I don't. I can't decide. I can't decide what I want to do. You know, and I just was like, I can't. I can't let him regret the decision of not doing it. So whether he posts or not, at least we have something. Um, I think that a huge majority of kind of why we've been feeling a little bit down about vlogging lately is there are a lot of internal issues with YouTube right now um with like subscriber counts losing subs analytics being messed up and it's hard to watch your hard work every day not paying off and having people unsubbed from you that have not chosen to be unsubbed from you and losing subs continually and never gaining anything and i mean obviously i know that's not really what we're doing it for but it's nice to know that all of this hard work and all of this time and all of this effort that we're putting in is paying off somehow. And I think that lately it just really hasn't, I don't know, it hasn't felt that way. It's been really hard and it's been, and I don't really even have much room to talk. It is mostly Kurt and a huge portion of me feels guilty for that. And... I feel guilty for not being more proactive with the vlogs. Yeah, I'm on the camera a lot, um, and you see my face a lot, but I don't, I don't do any of the editing. I'm not behind any of that. I'm not the one that uploads. I'm not the one that comments back to your comments. 99% of that is Kurt. And so I feel like he's getting burnt out, and he is... I don't know. I just, I feel bad for him and I, I hope that I can be a little bit more proactive and that I can learn how to edit better so I can start helping with that. Um, but I'm here to tell you that we may take a break. I don't know. Um, we'll for sure vlog until Christmas. But we might sit down and talk about it. And that might be what our choice is. We might, we might take a break. I don't know. I just, I think that we kind of need to 
get our bearings a little bit and remember truly why we decided to start vlogging in the first place. Just not take advantage of this awesome platform that we've been given because we we started this for a purpose. I mean, adoption was our whole purpose behind this. We talked about adoption. We talked about infertility a lot. And we've kind of have lost that lately, which is hard because it's not like we're not still struggling with it. Um, struggling with infertility and adoption is still very much a part of our lives. Having our birth family in our lives is very much still a very prevalent thing to us right now. And so I think we just kind of need to think about it, break it down, get back to our roots and be more thoughtful about vlogging. Not just like, okay, well, I guess we have to pull the camera out and film this or Jax is being cute, let's pull the camera out. And actually having thought behind things like, let's today let's focus on talking about this or I don't know, we might change things up, who knows? Maybe we'll have one day a week where we'll talk specifically about a certain thing or Maybe we'll start doing sit down vlogs more or um, where you guys ask us questions more often. I don't know, but I think that we're to the point to where we might need to start mixing things up a little bit to keep us motivated and to keep us going and to keep us like wanting to do this and not feeling like we have to do this. And I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm not rambling. I hope that you guys take this the right way and that nobody gets offended by this because you guys are our family and we love you so much and it is not because of any of you that we feel this way because you guys support us no matter what and we know that and you know and I know that if we would have taken the day off that you guys would have still been right there by our sides but I think that for us we need to kind of like rethink some things you know we've we've gone through a lot of changes in the last couple of months and we are so happy and I think that m maybe another issue is we haven't been able to truly soak any of the good stuff in because we're so focused on trying to show everybody else all these things rather than us just sitting back and thinking like we are so lucky to have what we have and to be where we are. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of rambling on now. I really thought that this would be super short and sweet and simple and to the point. But I just, I hope that you guys understand if we make some changes. I hope that you guys understand if we take a break or if we don't take a break or I don't know. I know that we're wanting to focus a lot on my channel um where we have been having so much fun as a family doing that but once again that's just another job for kurt um that's another thing that we kind of discussed tonight um is we are not full-time youtubers you know we don't we don't get to just film all day long and edit all day long and figure out what we want to play and do like we have full-time jobs we work at least 40 hours a week Plus, we have a three-year-old. We have a new house we're trying to take care of. You know, we've got friends and family and trying to keep up on all of it. It's a lot. It is, YouTube is another full-time job. It really is, especially for Kurt. He takes a lot of time and effort out of his day to, to put these videos together. I am so proud of him and I am so grateful for him. And I hope that he knows that. Because you guys would not have 794, I believe, videos if it wasn't for him. Because he is so amazing. And he's just the best man in the whole world. He really, really is. I know that you guys get to see 10 minutes of him a day. But he really, Kurt, I love you. You are an amazing, an amazing man. And I hope that you understand that. I hope that you get how awesome you are. But I'm sorry I've been rambling on for so long. We love you guys. That is all I'm trying to say is that we love you. YouTube 
is hard sometimes <laughs> and I think we let it consume our lives a little bit and so today we got to kind of just take a day to think about us and only us and have family time and love on each other and I got to have my little boy touch my cute face my face and tell me how beautiful I am and that was the sweetest moment ever so I just hope that you guys understand where we're coming from and we want you to know that we love you and that we appreciate you standing up by our side and I hope that you continue to watch us through our ups and through our downs and through our highs and through our lows and through tears and through weirdness anyway I love you I love you guys I'm so grateful that you have followed our journey and that you're a part of our family hopefully we will see you again tomorrow Peace out. Came down to start the vlog um, a little bit after 10 o'clock and I noticed that Shailene had recorded something and I just want to say thank you Shailene for, for doing that. Um, she's a good wife. I have a good kid. I have a good, very good family. I'm going to try to keep this raw and real. Um, been kind of going to slump the last little while and I'm sure you guys have been able to tell in the vlogs, those of you guys that are watching still, I'm struggling with the motivation. Um, and it's, like I said, it's shown in the vlogs with just the lack of entertainment that we've provided. And I hate to say it is entertainment, but when we're not doing exciting stuff in the vlogs, it's because we're just not having exciting lives right now. Um, and I think it's mostly because of me. Um, lately it seems like once I get off work, I come home and we kind of just chill. And you can use like, and we've, u we've used daylight savings and getting dark early and the cold and a bunch of stuff as excuses. However, the last two winters when we've vlogged, we haven't had those excuses. I could be better. Um, I was talking to Shailene tonight and I was like saying, hey Shailene, I need a break. Let's go ahead and not vlog today. Um, we vlogged for almost 800 days straight. We should hit 800 days, like, I think next week or something like that. And I'm like, Shailene, I think sometimes you just need a break. And she's like, you know, this is like, she vlogs just as much, but I'm like the one that edits that puts in like a lot of like the the, for lack of better terms, work in regards to, like, the vlog, and, uh, I'm not saying that she doesn't do anything or anything, but, um, it's put, like, a big toll on me, um, and I was thinking, I'm like, hey, we just need a family night, um, which I think is important sometimes. I think it is very important to have family time, to spend time alone, but at the same time, I have to remember why we started these vlogs, uh, we started these vlogs to remember who we are as a family, to show adoption in a good light, and then just to capture the incredible memories that we have. You know, we have lots of good memories in these videos. I'm a, I'm a type of person where I'm either all in or I'm all out. And there's lots of things in my life that um, are good examples of this. I won't get into all of them. And there's been even more recently. Um, but... Like, for instance, when I was running a lot, I was all in. If I put my mind to something, I'm gonna do it. And then if I kind of slack off and I stop doing it, I stop doing it all the way. So, like, for instance, like, with weight loss and whatnot, I was like, hey, I'm gonna lose weight. Let's do it, get it done. And uh, as soon as I had the race, I'm like, hey, let's take a little bit of time off. And I stopped. I worry that that's what I was gonna do with this vlog as well. I don't want that to happen because this vlog is bigger than just me. Um, it's all the people that watch it, but more importantly, it's these memories for Shailene and Jax. Um, and Jex's birth family that we've made promises to. Um, this is kind of all over the place and really rambly, but I... I 
I'm going to make a promise to myself to be more active in my family's life, to do stuff, to try to be healthier. I know it's going to be hard and I'm not going to succeed probably right off the bat, but I want to be a better person um, in every aspect of my life. I want to be more charitable. I want to be more happy, kind, loving to my friends and families and strangers. Um, I think one of the, and I think a good avenue to do that is through these vlogs. Anyways, so this is kind of rambling on, but I just wanted to jump on today and just kind of remind myself why we vlog. I think you can get caught up in the numbers with YouTube and subscribers and comments and views and stuff, which in in reality it's important when you're a vlogger. You know, it's it's important to see growth because growth sometimes helps with motivation and inspiration, um, but it shouldn't be our main focus. And it, it never has been, but it definitely, um, as a lot of creators on YouTube have said recently, um, it's been kind of a downer. And uh, I, like I said, I just needed to remind myself where we've come from and I don't know. But like I said, I have a good family and uh, I want to be better for them. Hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. You know, I have a lot of thoughts in my head all the time. And as you guys can probably tell, I'm not very good at putting them into words lots. Um, but they make sense in my head. So if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Um, if you have any comments as well, I would, I'd love to read them. We read every single stinking comment and we love and cherish them. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. I'm going to probably sit down and uh, unwind a little bit before I go to bed and... I don't know. Appreciate you guys. We love your support. We'll see you guys again tomorrow.